Hello friends, welcome back to Java 8 interview questions. In this video, we'll talk about default methods in interface. Okay, so the very first question is here on your screen. It says, what is the what is default methods in Java interface? All right, so the very first question is here on your screen. It says, what is default methods in Java interface? So let's have a look at the definition. So default method, as we know that it has been introduced as part of Java 8. So default method is a non abstract method. What does it mean? It means it will always have a default implementation. So basically in interface, you can write a method with a body, with its implementation, which was never possible before Java 8. Right. But now as part of uh, Java 8, you can write a method having implementation in interface itself. All right. And then how do you declare a method? How do you specify whether this particular method is default or not? You need to make use of a default keyword. So basically right before your method signature, you need to use default keyword to declare a function as a default function or default method. Right. So default method is by default available to the implement. Default method is an option. For example, if I, you have a choice, if you want, you can override the, the default method. If you do not want, you can just leave it as is, or you can just make use of the default implementation. So I will explain all these points in the example. And uh, I'm sure that once you read, so let me just go ahead and create a class class. Let me name it as default methods in interface you can name whatever you want okay so here is my class I, I hope you guys can see it clearly now let me first go ahead and create a new interface so I will write interface mm, let me call it as test interface okay now for example let me give you something here so I have a public a method an abstract method public void let me write test and okay let's have one only just one abstract method in the interface now if i have to use i have to implement this particular interface right so i'm talking about the behavior of interface so as soon as you implement you need to provide the implementation of all the abstract methods so for example there is only one so i need to provide the implementation of this particular test function right so i will just simply write here system dot out dot print all right so i'm simply i'm a test function easy sorry so this is good right okay let me just now in case if i have to introduce one more function in this particular interface for example i want to try uh, like i want to introduce one more function say test uh, uh let me just call it dummy test right so this is my one more uh, like another abstract function in the interface now you see i'm getting an error here it says that please provide implementation of this particular function right so this is the challenge with the uh, java prior to java 8 because like uh, if you're using interface in java prior to java 8 and if you have a abstract functions you need to so you are forced to provide the implementation of all the abstract functions even if you don't want to for example you just want to make use of test function you don't want to uh, do anything with the dummy test still you need to provide the implementation right so to overcome this particular challenge they have to do something called default so for example how do you declare a default like this you need to make use of default keyword and then you also need to provide the implementation if you guys remember let me open the ppt what it says default method is non abstract method it is always provided with the default implementation right so now i am going to provide the implementation here so this is the default implementation i am providing so i will simply write i am dummy test function right now what is the next thing it is that it says that it is declared using default keyword that you can see right so for example if i remove this one default right i'll get a compile time error you see here it says it is not possible to have a function 
a non abstract function in the interface if you really want to have it should be declared either default or static right so for example you want to see the solution here let me just it says change dummy method to either default or static or remove the method body right so we'll talk about static later but for now because we are talking about the default so we need to write we need to go and make use of the default keyword right so this is what this particular point says it is declared using default keyword now default method is by default available to the implementing class so now if you see here i don't see any problem i don't see any error in my class because it is a default method and it is optional you see here default method is an optional method you don't have to provide the implementation if you really want to override you can do that feel free right but let me do one thing let me just create a man and let me call this particular method so what i will do is uh, i'll just call it an object equals to new and let me just first call the test okay now object dot you see i am still able to call the dummy test right so basically default method is by default available to the implementing class right so now if i run i'll get uh, my code should work perfectly fine without any issues you see test function and dummy test right so i hope you have got the idea so what is the default method default method is a non abstract function in the interface where you can provide a default implementation right and you need to make use of default keyword to declare a function as a default function and it is an optional method right it is up to the and it is an optional method it means if there is a need to override you can override the message and if you do not want to override you can leave this as is no problem right now for example i want to provide my own implementation to this particular function right so i'll just copy everything and i will write my own implementation system dot out dot print ln I'm simply I am overriding dummy test. Now, if I go and run my code, right? Let me just go and use dummy test. Now, what will you see? Can you please guess? Okay, so here is your overridden function, right? Now, let's talk about the second question. What is second question? it says is it possible to have multiple default methods in an interface so you see i have my interface there is one default function there is another default function so the answer to this particular question is yes it is possible to have multiple default methods in an interface all right so let's go to the ide and what i will do i will create one more default here so default public void so and then i will write dummy trial system dot out dot print talent i have to provide some implementation so i am dummy trial right so you see there is no problem at all everything is okay no error now if i want i can simply use my object to call this particular implementation as well so dummy trial here you go right so the answer to this particular question is that yes an interface in java can have multiple default or n number of default methods all right let's move forward now next question is what is the purpose of introducing default methods in java interface one of the tricky or one of the very good question what is the idea behind introducing default methods in interface so basically the simple answer to this particular question is default methods enable you to add new functionality to the interfaces this is the one point second point it ensures backward compatibility right so what i will do is i think uh, it's more theoretical but i can explain better in the code right so let's go to the id and let's code this one let's see what how can we add a new fun what i will do is let me create now let's first create a interface here so i will do let me so i'll create one interface 
and let me call it as master interface i'm calling it master interface master interface okay now what i will do i will add uh, for example, validate password and here is input correct so this is our interface master interface and i have got one method here validate password now i am going to create multiple classes here right so what i will do is uh, let me create a new class for example text text password is my one class and i will create another class called numeric password and i will create another class here alphanumeric password and i will also create one more class called special characters right is let me just rename refactor so basically we have one master interface and then we have one two three four classes right so my class text password let me just implement the master interface so what i will do i'll go here and implements master interface you see this guy is asking to provide me the implementation right so validate so what i will do here. oh sorry i think i made a mistake here boolean all right so basically i just want to make sure that my password can have only system dot out dot print ln so password can have only characters because this is my text class right easy let's go to the next class numeric password so i will implement the same master implement master interface and i will add a function here so now what i will say only numbers right so let me just write here true so this is like you can write your uh, a function to validate whether this particular string has numeric values or not if it is no then you return false if, if it has got numbers only password alphanumeric again i am going to implement the master interface and this guy is asking me to provide the implementation so here you can alpha numeric values right so you can write your own implementation and i have one more class yes and i will provide the implementation here and here i will simply write a sys out saying should have special characters right so basically we have one interface and there is only one method called validate password and there are multiple classes so text class what it says that password can have only characters numeric password class says that password can have can have numbers only alphanumeric classes say that password can have alphanumeric values and special characters should have special characters only right master interface for example you have your application you have one interface and there are multiple classes using that particular interface and your application is in production now you want to introduce a new functionality like uh, there is a requirement and you want to add a new function a new method in the interface so that you can enhance your function for example validate password is there now you also want to write a method to validate the username for example public boolean validate username right and then a string username this is what you want to introduce as part of your requirement right so what you can do is obviously you have to create a new function in the interface now what will happen you see here now you can see errors in all your classes wherever you have used master interface now we know the reason why because as per the rule if you have an interface and if there are multiple uh, abstract function 
So all your classes which are implementing this particular interface has to provide the implementation of all the abstract abstract function. Now one solution to this per, this particular problem, right, to overcome these compile time errors, right, what you can do is either you can provide the implementation of the second function, validate username, right. That is the one solution, but it will make my code more complex. Unnecessary, I have to provide the implementation in all the classes, which is a challenge for me. Because for example, uh, only I have to validate the username only in a special character class. And these three classes have nothing to do with the username. Or maybe now because this is a new functionality that you want to add in your interface, but you cannot do that simply before Java 8, right? So to overcome this particular problem, Java 8 has introduced something called default method, right? For example, you can introduce a default function. You provide your implementation here, system dot out dot println. So basically you can write your code. So you can write your code to validate the user name. So I'm not going to write the method, but yeah, it is up to you. And then return. So say true right so we are not talking about the the validation method like how to go ahead and check the username and other things i am simply telling you the reason behind introducing default function in java it so that we can add a new functionality right this way you can go ahead and create a new function in the interface itself now if you go and see you see there is no compile time error in your existing classes right so this is the beauty of default function you don't have to worry about the existing code so you can add new function and it is backward compatible. Why? Because now you don't have to worry about all your classes wherever you have used the interface, right? Now, for example, I have my, I want to use validate password in this particular class, right? Here, alphanumeric. So what I can do is I can provide the implementation here. Public Boolean validate user string username and I can write my own code, right? Return true or false, whatever. So I will write system dot out dot print. So here, write your logic here, right? You see, there is no problem I can provide or here in this class, I can simply use the existing method, existing implementation from here. So what I will do is I will simply go ahead and write the main here first because we always need a main method, right? Uh, object equals to new objects. And now I can use my object to call the function validate password. Sorry. Validate password. I will pass my uh, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4 is my password. And I can go ahead and use the second method called validate username, right? So I will pass here, okay, Java. YouTube, whatever it is, right? Right. So basically the idea behind introducing default function or default method in interface is to add a new functionality or to enhance the existing interfaces, right? So that you can add new functionality and it, it will also a backward compatible because you don't have to worry about the classes wherever you have used. So for example, I can introduce a new class, class, right? So basically you can say here dummy password, right? And dummy password is my class and I can simply use I M P L E M E N T implements master interface, right? So you go here. If I want to, my new interface right my new class i can use master interface and the new method as well like new method from this particular interface or i can provide the implementation also like right so i hope i'm clear i am making some sense to you guys in case if you still have some doubt just let me know in the comment section I'll make another video, a detailed version of this particular concept so that I can give you more insight to this particular concept. All right, so let's move forward Time for this video. So I will cover rest of the equations in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.